So, uh, I kind of noticed <laughs> a little, little late, but I saw that there was a comment about uh, starting uh, playing around with some old, I guess not really technically DOS games, they're old Windows games, uh, but like Space Bucks, uh, this also worked for things like uh, Magic the Gathering, the old uh, Shao Lazar game or whatever it was called, what it was called. Chandelar. Uh, that's uh, that was kind of one of the primary reasons I got it up and going was that you could play a bunch of these older Windows games on it. Anyway, the the way to do so. Uh, don't mind the arcade pit stuff everywhere. Um, the easiest way to really run this stuff is to grab Virtual Box Manager. Grab. The, uh, a virtual box of some sort. I think there's other ones out there besides the Oracle variety of it. But uh, what you will want to do is grab a virtual box. You will start up and you'll create a new one. You will need an either uh, if you've got a copy of Windows 95 laying around, that's great. Um, you can find all kinds of copies of old Windows 95 installs just hanging around out there. You just need to. Grab it, you will set the machine to start with, um, and like, you'll set the version and stuff like that, and then you'll go down in here and tell it to use certain resources, like obviously you can't, you don't want to give too many um, resources to some um, older Operating systems, they won't be able to handle it very well. Uh, as far as, like, you might have some of this other stuff, like USB uh, storage. So, right now, you, you can kind of set it uh, like a physical size. Usually 500 megabytes is fine. Um, but then what you want to do is attach... See in here. You will attach. See, it has a floppy device. You can go in. That's what it is. You go in like a, if you're installing a. If you're installing a disk, or uh, sorry, if you're installing an older operating system like Windows ninety five, which did come on CD, um, you could. Theoretically, add um, a disk image here, and then whenever you're starting the new system, since it hasn't really been installed yet, um, you will run it that first time, and it'll load that disk image up like you were booting the system with that disk in. And so you'll go through the process of installing Windows 95. Once you've got it installed, then you can go in here and hit start. It'll bring up a uh, Eventually, it'll bring up a window that is emulating Windows 95. Uh, yeah, so don't mind the sort of common errors of system INI files. This, this is stuff that was... I removed some, like, you know, the Windows... The stuff that came default in Windows... Um, Back in the day, it didn't go in and tell the system I and I file that those things were gone. It would just leave them in the system I and I, and now, whenever you start up the system, it'll yell at you and be, hey, I don't find this thing. I was like, I uninstalled that. It's not there anymore, dude. But, anyway, it, it won't, it just is a slight hindrance here at the beginning, but, so what'll happen is this will pop up, you know, go into... Windows, yeah, I don't, yeah, network, yeah, why would I, I don't need any of that. Maybe if I ever used this more than, like, you know, once a, every couple years, I might go in and change the system I and I. Um, so if you need to get out of the window, this, as you'll notice, I can't move my cursor, I can't tab out or anything like that. Um... You'll see down there at the bottom right, it says right control. Right control will pop you out of it. Uh, but you want to do, you want to 
go up if you don't already have it in there. Um, as far as like space box, see, like I have space box uh, trophy bass, which is another Sierra pro product that I don't know why, but I enjoy. Credit and the Incredible Machine. Like, you, if you have any of these sorts of discs that you've converted into images, if you've got them off abandonware sites, uh, you can plug them in here, and then typically you'll have to install them like you would install them in Windows 95. You would go into the Windows Explorer, you would search for that drive here, and you can see it would tell you all the things, you would run setup, and you would run it through that. Now, because I've already, you know, this is... This is basically the setup I was using when I recorded those videos years and years ago. I still actually have them installed. So all I had to do was go in and so long as the so long as you have the again, so long as you have that drive listed in here as checked, because this means that you've basically virtually put a a CD in the system. As long as you've done that, it'll it'll boot up and work normally. I believe like space bucks and stuff would be like the this would all load up and then it would go. Oh, please insert the disc, you doofus! If you didn't have the disc in, but well, loads right up, and now you're in space, space bucking. If you wanted to do that. You could. And then, like I said, you could do that with other games, like the ones I had listed there. Uh, I know it works for the Magic the Gathering, uh, like, adventure, whatever that thing's called. Sh Sharazad? No, that's not Sharazad. The old Microprose Magic game was, was definitely one of them. Uh, but... Yeah, any, any of those, any Windows games of this era will work this way. At most, well, um, you might get some drivers issues because, you know, it's, it's trying to emulate certain things, and maybe some games aren't as friendly with the emulated drivers that you're using for, like, video or audio, but, I mean, I haven't run into too many games that I, remember, I, I recall playing that have done any, you know, have had any issues, uh, like 3D Ultra Pinball works, um, the, th like, a lot of the Sierra games seem to work just fine, um, but, you know, that's, I mean, that's the easiest way to get that kind of stuff done, uh, y there are other ways you could, I think you can even do it through DOSBox these days, if you install that sort of stuff through the DOSBox emulator, but, uh, I find this, like, so much easier just to do it like this. Because it's it's basically just like running an old... If you if you ever played around with any older Windows machines, it's just easier to do. have a little device, uh, a little window where you can just go, yeah, run me a Windows 95 box. Run me a Windows 3.1 window and... It's basically just emulating a machine right here in the box. So that's probably the easiest way to get that kind of stuff done if you have any sorts of games of that area you want to play. Uh, I will pop this up on the channel, and I will finally reply to a two-year-old comment that, I don't know, I guess I I probably missed because I was down taking care of my grandparents at the time when it when that comment was posted so sorry poster my bad uh, but uh thanks for checking it out and have a good one mm -hmm.